Number one, the blessing of elevation. The blessing of elevation. Now notice the first statement was this. Blessed be Abraham of God most high. What is his name? God most high. Until now, the only name of God that was introduced to the people until now in Genesis 14 was that name Elohim, God the Creator. In the beginning, Elohim, the Creator God, created the heavens and the earth. God has yet to introduce Himself as Yahweh. That only came in Exodus chapter 3. God has yet to introduce Himself as El Shaddai or Jehovah Jireh or Jehovah Rapha. So this is the first time and of all the names the Son of God could use, He chose to introduce His Heavenly Father as El Elyon. El Elyon. All right? The God Most High, the God who is the highest. Now, why was it important for Abraham to know that? Because, first of all, he just got out of a, recently out of adultery, uh, idolatry. He just came out of idolatry. He came from the Earl of the Chaldees, which is modern-day Iraq. And it was a place, and in fact, if you go to where Abraham came in Iraq, you can see a lot of ancient temples, ancient ruins. It was a place of tremendous idol worship. They worshipped many idols. So God revealed Himself to Abraham by saying, Hey, I am the Most High God. There is no other idols higher than me. I am the one and only God. But secondly, more importantly, the Lord was saying this, I'm bringing you into a covenant faith. Uh, I'm bringing you into a, 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 a covenant relationship with a God who is the Most High. Now, one translation says, He is the God of elevation. That means as you put your faith in Him, you will become the head and not the tail. You will be above and not beneath. He's going to elevate you. Now, remember Jesus in the Lord's Prayer, what's the first thing He says? He says we got to hallow the name of God. That means you got to focus on your name. You got to put your faith in that name, whatever name of God you focus in and you put your faith in, you will experience that blessing and you will become what that name says. I'll give you an example. When you know Him and understand that He is Jehovah Rapha, the Lord your healer, you will experience His healing power. The more you focus on that name and put your faith in the name of Jehovah Rapha, you will become healthy. Sickness will go away. Strength will come into your body. But if you are sick and you don't know that God is your healer, you will be sick all your life. You will be weak all your life. In the last few weeks, we've been having so many healing miracles. About a month ago, one day, we, we had, we, one weekend, the leader said, look, pastor, there's so many people with cancer. Why don't we have a special service where we just pray for people with cancer or with heart disease of recovering from a stroke or a severe disability? And at the same time, God has been speaking to Sun and I, and we felt that, you know, sometimes it's not enough just to have a, 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 a service at the end and we pray for the sick and just rush through it. Sometimes you just got to focus on the sickness and got to pray and pray until you have a breakthrough. See, prayer got to, you got to pray until you get a breakthrough. So one week just before, I, I believe it was the last weekend of, of November, we have a pre-service miracle rally at our, at our Chinese church room. And, and I preached for about, what, 10 minutes? We sang one song and we prayed and we prayed. I have never seen so many cancer people in one service before. I mean, the place was packed to overflowing. And I told them, you got to go back and you got to check with your doctors and 
get a medical result and, and before you know and you can say that you are healed. And so we prayed and we prayed, focusing on the name Jehovah Rapha. I believe Mark was leading the song, You are the Lord that heals us. You send your word to heal our disease. We put our faith, we focus on that name, Jehovah Rapha. And you know what? We've been getting testimonies right now. One person came in with stage 3 cervical cancer. Went and had a medical checkup and the doctor, preliminary result, and said, there's no more cancer in your body. You're healed by the power of God. Come on, let's give the Lord a big hand. People with growth, tumor in the body, growth in the rectum, gone, healing happened. Whatever you focus and put your faith in, in that name of God, that name will become what you experience and a reality in your life. 